Welcome back to the morning show. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar yesterday responded to the presidency over its claim that President Muhammad Buhari walked 800 meters as evidence of his fitness to seek re-election in the 2019 elections. The former vice president was apparently responding to the assertion by the presidency that Mr. Buhari walked 800 meters from the Eid praying ground to his house in Daura, Katsina State on Tuesday. By reacting in a message posted on his verified Facebook page on Wednesday afternoon, Mr. Abubakar lampooned the presidency, saying the assertion was pedestrian. He said, and I quote, I regularly jog more than a mile and I also exercise, but it will be pedestrian of me to ask Nigerians to vote for me because of that. I want my party, the PDP, and Nigerians to vote for me because I work, not because I walk. I will work to create jobs. I won't work to create an illusion. Joining me now to talk more about this is our rice correspondent, Aaron Akirejola, and our rice news analyst, Emmanuel Efeni. Gentlemen, good yeah. to have you back on the morning show. Yeah, it's good to be back again. Yeah. What uh, do you think of this? What are your thoughts? Uh, uh, Aaron, you look like you, you no, exercise I I, and you walked <laughs> you know, to the studio this morning. Huh? I, I share the sentiment of the former vice president. Yeah. Exactly. We're talking this morning about um, the prime minister of Australia, yes. um, Mr. Tumble, and the fact that because his policies are deviating from the party's um, vision, people are coming against him. That should be the focus, not whether or not a man is physically fit. Fitness physically or walking, as the case may be, should not be a determinant factor to decide whether or not someone is fit to run for office. Like he has said, he regularly exercises. Does that mean that he is now the best candidate to actually fill that exalted position of being the, federal, I mean, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? I think no. Well, uh, if any, you yeah. know, it's not, this is not just about President Buhari. I know that Nigerians generally, in the last few weeks, have been asking questions about the physical fitness, the health, you know, the age of presidential candidates. I mean, there, are, there is a group of young men uh, and ladies who are saying they want to be president, okay? The oldest among them is probably uh, Kinsley Mogalu, who is in his early 50s. Most of them are... 30 something or in yeah. their 40s, yes. right? I mean, there have been complaints that Sule Lamido uh, at 70 something is probably too old. There are persons who have said, even uh, former Vice President Atiku himself, you know, should undergo a uh, medical uh, examination because of his age, you know, and I mean, Governor of uh, Sokoto State, yes. Amin Tambua, he said, no, Nigerians should not vote for anybody that is old. <laughs> what, what is the issue? Well, let's put it in context. Yeah. Because, um, people, some pe persons have questioned the health of President Buhari, obviously uh, because of the health uh, uh, tourism, which uh, took place sometime last year, where he spent uh, over 100 days in the UK attending to his health. But he has since come back and uh, he's been working. And at every opportunity, he tries to demonstrate that, look, I am fit. I'm not okay. Because he once said he, was, he has never been this sick. And is it, he who feels it knows it. Yes, we need the certification of the experts. But because some persons have also made the issue of Buhari's health and his age as issue. So there was that need also to come out and demonstrate. Uh, whether they have done it well is another matter. But we must also recall that president, the former president, good luck, Jonathan, once took a walk with his aides. And Don't worry, I will, I will tell you about that. We're part of that. I will tell you more so about that. What Buhari <laughs> has done, or his team has done, is not new to demonstrate that one is physically fit. But is it physically, physical fitness okay. that is hold elastic on, hold on, for good governance? Hold on, Efeni. We spoke to a neurologist, Dr. Sheyu Roberts, of a Royal Cross Medical Center, who gave an insight. Uh, on this matter, if you know walking, if the walk by the president, the 800 meters walk, means anything in medical terms, let's take a look at the uh, tip. The first thing is that 
it was a good thing that he, he did that, that he actually walked 800 meters and that he did it without uh, much protocol attached to it. He was walking and waving to uh, his supporters there. Uh, let's just put it this way. Anybody can walk 800 meters. That's about half a mile. Uh, in, it, it, it's good that he did it. And like I said, from his military training, he's probably someone used to doing exercises regularly. And he uh, looks like someone who's also fit. He's never been obese. But does that tell us that he's fit for the election next year or something bad will not happen? No. Uh, all it tells us is that as of today, he's physically fit to walk 800 meters. Because if you have some underlying medical issue that is actually life-threatening, mm. it may not prevent you from walking 800 meters. Mm. So you can still walk 800 meters and you, you may still be harboring some major medical issue that may actually interfere or at least limit your ability to perform your duties as president. He has some medical issues which are as of yet undisclosed, uh, which in itself is unfortunate. Uh, this is the kind of thing that happens in third world countries. Can you imagine the American president being away for three months on treatment for some medical condition and nobody knows what is wrong with him or a British prime minister or any other advanced democracy for that matter. I've always felt if you have medical issues, the Nigerian public, they have a right to know what is wrong with you. It is not, it's not your prerogative to, to, to hide it. If you don't want people to know what your medical issues are, do not run for office. Once you run for office and you are elected, either be it governor or senator or president or vice president, if you are ill, we have a right to know. Okay. Absolutely. I think if it's not already by law, it should be made law. Anybody who's running for president of this country must come with a certified medical report to tell us what his state of health is. We've had uh, scary issues before with the uh, late uh, President Yaradua. We don't want to go through situations in which we elect people of uncertain health status. We need to know that you are fit for it. And physical fitness is not even all that is required. Mental alertness, intellectual ability, you know, is the patient, uh, uh, does he have cognitive decline? Does he have other issues that are, we, these are things we need to know because we cannot entrust the onerous job of being president of Nigeria to just anybody. Nigerian uh, citizens are your employers. Can you imagine if you are the MD of a company and a, a, a member of your staff takes ill, takes off for three months and you don't know what is wrong and refuses to disclose what it is, what do you do? You fire him. So that's what we should do to, 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 to uh, uh, an absentee president who said, we, we just, we need to know what is wrong with the president. Age itself is not really, or should be a limitation to office. I mean, the president of 93-year-old uh, um, uh, uh, Mohammed, is that uh, Malaysia? Where is the president, this, the oldest uh, president now? He's 93, and he appears to be doing a good job. It's not age per se, and let's assume he's 75. He's not too old to be president. He's old, but he's not too old if actually I have evidence that he's mentally alert, he's physically strong, his uh, medical records show that nothing is significantly wrong with him, no problem until I see a medical report or he owns up to Nigerians and he tells us what is wrong with him. Any medical condition that keeps you for 103 days in the UK undergoing treatment is... That's interesting. I mean, uh, you just had uh, Dr. Roberts yes. now giving uh, an expert opinion. Yes. Uh, you know, sometimes somebody can even appear physically fit and then the unexpected may happen the other day. Remember the case of... Uh, Senator Ali Wakili of APC Bauchi. I mean, he was in the National Assembly, he was healthy, he was fit. And then, you know, the report came the following day that, uh, you know, he just died. You know, this sudden death uh, syndrome. And yet, he was somebody who looked very healthy. So it looks like, you know, being healthy, th there are many sides to it. I think this is the failure, I think this just shows desperation and the failure of the media team of the president. Because I'm sure the president just did it in his innocence that he wanted to take a walk. All right. Well, and, he wanted and, to connect with the people. People, probably. You know, because the because you see thing. the vice president of Nigeria do that. Yeah. And probably he just wanted to take a walk. And he felt well, like he was at home. He yes, was in he, his own town. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. and in the process, he and, was connecting with his own people, and so which I think was a good thing. Which is yeah. good and that must be commended. Good. The optics look good. Yes.
but somebody wanted to just give, so a, give spin. a spin on it, spin on it, wanted to make the optics look better than it was, and wanted to probably for once, because we know that the, this particular media team of the president have always been on the defensive, and they've not done a good job. They've not done a stellar job. They've actually done a pillow power job in trying to defend some of the stands and some of the positions they found themselves regarding the president, whether it's his health, whether it's his policies. For once, they wanted to stay ahead of the pack. For once, they wanted to leave the narrative and trust me, they got it exceptionally wrong. If any, yes. our brother and colleague, our former president yes. in the guild of editors, yes. Garu Washeu. Yes. <laughs> is he studying medicine now? Because it's well, not... uh, what he has done, uh, I think is spin doctor gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because the issue of medical certification can only be done scientifically by medical personnel and uh, and all that. Yeah, but I, I, I don't want to blame him too much. You know, you mentioned President Jonathan earlier on. Yes. Uh, as President Jonathan's spokesman, you, we also had a similar situation. We had an endurance trek from the villa all the way to the Eagle Square. I was there, although I was panting, but I could abandon my bus. <laughs> and then when we got to the Eagle Square, you know, we started an exercise session. And the president, you know, was very agile, although I respected myself. I uh, just stood aside. <laughs> <laughs> but did you not this? I pretended to be supervising the uh, media team. <laughs> and then we also put out uh, pictures showing the president, you know, uh, in the gym with uh, his wife, you know. I, I think it's just a thing about politics. You know, people want to reassure the public that they are fit. Remember, given the experience of the Yaradua uh, uh, period. This is not to say, though, that Nigerians are less concerned about the health yes. of their leaders. You know, they are not just curious about President Buhari, also about all the other candidates. Candidates, yes. You know, well, because uh, age is not a factor. You know, um, <laughs> we have a 90-year-old prime minister. Uh, well, we have a 39-year-old uh, president in well, France. Well, <laughs> I don't know that. well, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching. For my entire team here in Lagos, enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.